Artificial intelligence that rivals tech giants for a fraction of the cost? That's exactly what DeepSeek v3 is promising. Today we're diving into how this open source AI model is shaking up the industry. Oh, that sounds intriguing. What makes DeepSeek v3 so special compared to other AI models we've seen? Well, it's all about the numbers. DeepSeek v3 boasts a staggering 671 billion parameters, but here's the kicker, it only activates about 37 billion for each task. It's like having a massive supercomputer, but only using the exact parts you need for each job. Hmm, that's fascinating. So it's not just raw power, but smart power. How does this translate to real world performance? That's where things get really interesting. In mathematical reasoning, DeepSeek V3 scored a 90.2 on the Math 500 test, outperforming GPT-4, which scored 74.6. And in coding tests, it's leaving other models in the dust scoring 51.6 on code forces compared to Llama 3.1, quote, S25.3. Wow, those are impressive numbers. But uh, I have to ask, what's the catch? Developing AI models like this usually costs a fortune, right? You'd think so, but that's another area where DeepSeek V3 is breaking new ground. The team managed to train it for around $5.5 million. To put that in perspective, GPT-4 reportedly cost over $100 million to train. Wait, what? How on earth did they manage to keep costs so low? It's a combination of clever engineering and efficient training techniques. They use something called FP8 Mixed Precision Training, which reduces computational overhead without sacrificing accuracy. They also implemented multi-token prediction, allowing the model to process multiple pieces of information at once, speeding up both training and inference. That's incredible. It sounds like they've cracked the code on efficient AI training. The open source nature of the project means that the broader community can also contribute to improving and refining the model. That's a good point. The transparency of open source projects can be a powerful tool for addressing and mitigating ethical concerns. But I'm curious about the practical applications. How might we see DeepSeek v3 being used in the real world? The potential applications are vast. Given its strong performance in mathematical reasoning and coding, we could see it being used to assist in complex scientific research or software development. Its multilingual capabilities could make it valuable in translation and cross-cultural communication and its general language understanding could be applied to everything from customer service chatbots to content creation tools. Speaking of the AI community, how has the reception been to DeepSeek v3? Are other researchers and developers excited about it? The reception has been largely positive, with many in the AI community excited about the possibilities it opens up. The fact that it's open source means that researchers can dig into its architecture and potentially build upon it. However, there's also a healthy dose of skepticism, as is common with any major claim in the field of AI. That makes sense. In a field that's moving as quickly as AI, I imagine it's important to approach new developments with both enthusiasm and critical thinking. Absolutely. And that's really the key takeaway here. DeepSeek v3 represents a significant leap forward in open source AI, combining cutting edge technical innovations with cost efficient training and impressive performance, but it's also a reminder of the complex landscape we're navigating in the world of AI. Well said. So we are going to check how this AI perform, shall we? All right, first we are going to test it in deepseek.com, because this one are kind of large model, and I don't think most local machine GPU are able to run this smoothly. Okay, so when you head over to deepseek.com, the first thing you'll see are two buttons. One is start which lets you access the web UI on their website, and the other is API access. I've already registered for both. You can either register an account with your email address or just log in. Now, you might be wondering why we're trying this out online instead of downloading it locally. Well, there's a reason for that. When you delve into the DeepSeek hugging face, you can certainly download these files. But here's the catch. This AI models are massive, with a parameter size of around 671 billion. Don't get me wrong, even the activated parameter size is 37 billion, which is still pretty huge. Most average GPUs with their 12 to 16 gigabytes of memory wouldn't be able to run these smoothly. Sure, they have some quantization models listed that are smaller and those you can download to run as well, 
But the thing is, those quantization models are trimmed down, meaning they have a way less data set to play with. With less data, you might not get the best results. So, I prefer to work with the original size of the language models. This full data set allows us to see their full capabilities and performance in real time. Take a course like GGUF, for example. You can download those models locally and run them, but again, you're talking about 16 files, each a whopping 41 to 44 gigabytes. I don't think many people would be willing to spend that much storage space. So, this time we're going to try it out in the online web UI. Just head over to DeepSea.com and click the Start Now button. This will bring you to the dashboard or chatbot interface. I've already messed around with it a bit, and let me tell you, they say the new update has significantly improved DeepSeek's abilities for coding tasks. For example, I just gave the AI a simple text prompt. Create a Kanban UI styles dashboard for task management using Node.js. And guess what? It understood exactly what I meant. It even generated a step-by-step -step explanation, which is pretty cool. Even if you're not a coding whiz, you can follow along with all the steps. It shows you how to set up the files folder, the project using Node.js, and install all the necessary libraries and components. It even provides you with the configuration files. So you can just copy and paste the text to create a file called server.js. This is pretty standard stuff for a Node.js web app. You use that as a container to configure, you know, your routing logic and the server settings. And then you've got a package.json file. This is where you list all the necessary components for the web app. Basically, it shows you everything from the setup steps to creating a database. It provides all the scripts for you to just copy and paste into the files, create the database, and then build the front end of the web app. So this is essentially a to-do list type of web app but using a Kanban board. I actually did a similar example previously using another AI coder to create version 2 of my Hun Yuan video generator where I added a Kanban UI. So as you can see here, I've got four columns. It'll be creating video clips just like a task manager app. It'll be stacking all the queues here, lining up all the jobs. I'm also planning to integrate AI agents to automatically generate all the video clips from text prompts, and then that'll go through this whole process. And this previous web app used another AI coder called Boat New and Gemini version 2. But the cool thing is we can create a similar interface like this for free with DeepSeek. No subscriptions or anything. You just type in what you want, give it text prompts, and it shows you every step tells you the file structure, how to locate all the files. Everything is super detailed. These AI models are really good at coding. They understand what we need and how the structure should be. When I do a text prompt request, there's a deep think option at the bottom of the chat text box. When you enable deep think, it's supposed to help with solving reasoning problems. It adds reasoning to the AI, allowing it to have a deeper understanding of your questions. This helps improve the responses whether it's text or any other message. I enabled Deep Think, and it generated much more in-depth results here. I have other examples using the same concept that I used for the Hun Yuan Video Generator web app. I used the same concept to ask how to create a web server running on RunPod for video LoRa training using my Hun Yuan Video project. It showed me the steps to log into RunPod, set up a GPU instance, and walked me through the setup. As you can see, it knows we need Python and describes installing PyTorch, as well as cloning the Hun Yuan video AI. Of course, it doesn't know the URL yet because I haven't provided it, but that's not a problem. The main thing is that it was able to write the source code for a Python API server. Using FastAPI, it created the API server side, which allows an API client to call it as a web request. This processes videos using this API endpoint, allowing it to generate videos on the RunPod server. It's incredibly detailed in every step, even telling you to set up the requirements.txt script folder and the model folder where we need to download the AI video models. Every single detail is in this AI response. I'd say DeepSeek is a really good open source option. If you have a large enough hard drive to download all the files, go for it. If you really wanna try it out that way, give it a shot. But I think most people prefer a faster way to test things out. You can just log into their website and try it out using the Start Now button or the Access API option. That's where you can use an API key, especially if you're using something like the Bolt DIY project. The recent update to the Bolt open source GitHub page now lets you choose multiple large language models. 
DeepSeek and Google Gemini are both supported and integrated there, so you can use Gemini version 2 and also use the DeepSeek API integrations, allowing you to use API keys to run things locally on your own machines. Yeah, I think DeepSeek version 3 is performing really well. There's a lot of reasoning going on in the back end. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing if they release more AI language models or even other types of diffusion models soon. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.